Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play Shove the Pig's Foot a Little Further in the Fire. <laughs> Shove the Pig's Foot is a tune which uh, I knew the title a long time before I knew the tune because <laughs> it's an amusing title. It turns out a pig's foot is not uh, to do with the pig at all. It's a blacksmith tool, a bit like a, a poker. Um, the source recording, I believe, for this tune is by Martin Marcus from North Carolina in the 1940s. Uh, I'm going to give you two versions of the tune, a very simple version that I learnt from a video of the Fiddle in Floods and secondly a, a more complex version with some uh, old time syncopation. So first of all let me give you the, the basic tune. And we're in the key of G. One, two, three, four. Now, uh, certainly played at that tempo, you can do almost all of it with separate bows, as I did there. But I would um, suggest that you follow the slurs that I did. So we're slurring across the bar line at the end of um, the first, second and fourth lines. And a couple of other slurs. just to allow you to get into a down bow at the beginning of each bow. Uh, now let's do that again, but this time we're going to do it with the backing and also we're going to do drones. So uh, a D drone to start with, then a G drone. And then here a D drone above, uh, D drone below. And here a D drone, more D drone. So it's mostly D drones and if you're not sure how to do drones I do have a video all about that. So let's do this with the backing with drones. Okay, now let's look at a more complex version of the tune and the main thing we're going to add is syncopation. Um, I'm actually working at the moment on a video on old time bowing which will include quite a lot about syncopation and uh, other old time bowing patterns. So. Um, so end of bar two we're going to anticipate the beat. And uh, we, we're going to do that with a strong down bow. So all of that bar and here 
Instead of ending the bar with like that, with a, an A, we're going to we're anticipating the next note, which is the, the B notes on the first finger. And we are doing a hammer on before the B, and we did that the first time as well. So let's just do all of those two lines. One, two, three. Okay, now instead of that, we're going to do da da ba da, which is more syncopation. Here we're doing a, it's like an Irish um, cut. We're just doing a flick of a second finger. Okay, let's go through all of it and with the backing. Now, bluegrass players uh, are often mystified by how old-time players can sit around in a circle and play the same tune 20 times in a row without anybody soloing. And um, it's this syncopation which actually makes it uh, groovy, which makes it um, exciting and interesting and mesmeric. And without that, uh, I think the tunes lose a lot of it. But this, this is what uh, old-time players get off on. It's this, um, this small-scale improvisation, on the, uh, particularly on the rhythms. I hope you enjoyed this. If you would like a copy of the sheet music, then do subscribe to the channel and send me an email. If you'd like to get hold of all of my PDFs in one go, and that's nearly 400 of them now, then do please join me on Patreon, because that's what keeps these videos coming. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.